Hello there. Welcome to the show. I hope you are doing well. In our previous episode of the series, we talked about chemical reactions and chemical equations. Today we are going to discuss balancing the chemical equations. According to the law of conservation of mass, we have already discussed in playlist chemistry 9 episode 5, mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Hence, the mass of reactants and product must be conserved. In the previous episode, we discussed a skeleton equation and balanced equations. We know that chemical equation having equal number of atom on both sides of the arrow is known as balanced equation. Generally, we convert a skeleton equation into a balanced equation. To balance a chemical equation, different methods can be used. Here, we will discuss only one of them. Let's discuss it step by step. Let us try to balance this chemical equation. Step one: To balance a chemical equation, first we should draw boxes around each formula. and not make any changes inside the boxes while balancing the chemical equation step 2 now we have to list the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation in this equation we can see that there is one iron atom in reactant and three iron atoms in product there are two hydrogen atoms in reactant and products The oxygen atom is only one in reactant and four in the product. This concludes that this equation is required to be balanced. Step three. It is often convenient to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms. It may be a reactant or a product. In this compound, let's select the element which has the maximum number of atoms. Using these criteria, we can select. Fe3O4 and the element oxygen in it. There are four oxygen atoms on the right hand side and only one on the left hand side. To equalize the number of atom, it must be remembered that we cannot alter the formula of compound or element involved in the reaction. For example, to balance the oxygen atom, we will just put coefficient 4 as 4H2O and not like H2O4 or H2O4 Now the partially balanced equation is this step 4 As oxygen is balanced iron and hydrogen atoms are still unbalanced We can pick any of these elements to proceed further Let's balance hydrogen atoms in the partially balanced equation In this equation there are 8 hydrogen atoms on left hand side and two hydrogen atoms on right hand side to equalize the number of hydrogen atoms we have to raise the number of hydrogen atom in right hand side by 4 after raising the number of hydrogen atoms on right hand side by 4 this equation will be fe plus 4h2o producing fe3 of 4 plus 4h2o step 3 Since hydrogen and oxygen atoms are balanced on both sides, we have left with only one unbalanced element, that is iron. We can see that there is only one iron atom on the left hand side and three iron atoms on the right hand side. To equalize iron atom in this equation, we have to raise the iron atom by 3 on the left hand side. After raising the iron atom by 3 on the left hand side, the equation will be 3 Fe plus 4 H2O producing Fe3 of 4 plus 4 H2. Finally, this equation is balanced. To check the correctness of balanced equation, let's count the number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation once again. We can count that there are three iron atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and four oxygen atoms on the left hand side. Similarly there are 3 iron atoms 8 hydrogen atoms and 4 oxygen atoms on the right hand side now we can say that we have successfully balanced this equation
This method of balancing chemical equation is called heat and trial method. As we make trials to balance the equation by using the smallest whole number coefficient. Carefully examine the above balanced equation. Does this equation tells us anything about the physical state of each reactant and product? No information has been given in this equation about their physical states. To make a chemical equation more informative, the physical states of the reactants and products are mentioned along with their chemical formula. The gaseous, liquid, aqueous and solid states of reactants and products are represented by the notations G, L, AQ and S respectively. The word aqueous is written if the reactant or product is represented in a solution in water. Now the balanced chemical equation becomes 3Fe in solid state, 4H2O in gaseous state producing Fe3O4 in solid state, 4H2 in gaseous state. Note that the symbol G is used with H2O to indicate that in this reaction water is used in the form of steam. Usually physical states are not included in a chemical equation unless it is necessary. Sometimes the reaction conditions such as temperature, pressure, catalyst, etc. for the reaction are indicated above and or below the arrow in the equation. For example, in these chemical equations, we can see that in the first equation, atmospheric pressure is mentioned on the arrow to indicate that this reaction is carried out in the presence of 340 atmospheric pressure. In the second example, we can see that sunlight is indicated on the arrow and chlorophyll is mentioned under the arrow. This indicates that this reaction is carried out in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. So, this was heat and trial method to balance a chemical equation. That's enough for now. In our next episode, we will discuss about types of chemical reactions. For more information about this, or any episode of the series, check out the blog. Link is in the description. We have additional contents, further readings, and transcripts of every show. We have also published two of our books on Amazon Kindle Publisher. We would love to see your reviews over there. Thank you for coming to the channel and watching the video. I hope you love the show.